travelers and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with this report claiming that manager Javi hopes key position at Barca is being strengthened before pre-season talk. We are going to be discussing on that in much detail as we progress. Then secondly, Talking about Ivan Fresneda, as it has been reported that the 20 million euro rated teenage defender is still anxiously waiting for Barca to make their first offer, as Barca are optimistic in doing so as soon as they can. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona began their pre-season. They will begin their pre-season come in just over a week. That is on July 10. That will be around 10 days before the takeoff for the U.S. pre-season tour, where they will play against the likes of Juventus, AC Milan, Arsenal, and Real Madrid. Looking into the squad ahead of the season's unofficial kickoff, however, the Blaugrana appear minimally changed from last season. The Catalan's transfer window so far has been far from the paradise they anticipated. Ilkay Gundogan is the only player they have managed to sign, with Inigo Martinez being the only other on the cusp of signing the papers. It is safe to say that Xavi and Andes' side, in fact, lost more than they have gained. The departures of Sergio Busquets and Yuri Alba come as a big blow for Barcelona, and the former is clearly the more difficult to replace. The administration and club president Laporta have been on the lookout for replacement pivot for a long time now. The hunts began with Martin Zubimendi and Joshua Kimmich before moving to Marcelo Brozovic. With all three pursuits facing roadblocks, Aurea Romeo appears to be the chosen one. According to a report from Ashraf Ben Ayat, Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez hopes for the club to close the signing of a new pivot before the commencement of the pre-season tour. Needless to say, this does not involve just um, just the announcement, but also the incorporation of the player into the team dynamics. Girona were initially said to be unhappy with the La Liga champions' advances towards their star midfielder. However, reports state that they will now be willing to let him go for a fee of around 5 to 6 million euros this summer. It is expected that Barcelona will call their Catalan rivals as early as tomorrow to begin talks over a transfer in the hope to complete the deal before July 10. Romeo Swift's incorporation will enable Xavi to transmit his ideas to the new pivot or, you know, to better effect and find a working combination in the middle of the park. After all, this will be Barcelona's first season without Sergio Busquets to lead them in midfield. So, of course, Barcelona are really in a hunt for a new defensive midfielder after Busquets departed. And it hasn't been easy, by no means. It hasn't been easy. I think Busquets leaving the club have really brought a lot of issues in terms of finding his replacement. This started with Zubimendi, where Xavi was so obsessed about bringing Zubimendi to the club, you know. But of course, unfortunately, the, the, the club couldn't get in because of 60 million euro release clause that Sociedad insisted that Barca must pay such an amount if they want to ever dream of taking him. And they were not prepared to negotiate with Barca for their star player as they see him as very important for a long time for them. But Barca said that 60 million euros was too much for them to pay. Because of the financial issues that the club is going through, Barca had to back off. They had to step out from the race after showing interest for such a long time. And also coupled with the fact that Martin Zubimendi was not too keen to join Barca, as he had been saying that he really wants to succeed at uh, Real Sociedad and inherit the, the shirt of Iyaramendi rather than inheriting the shirt of Busquets. So such statements also push Barca further away from the player as they saw him as a player who don't even respect Barcelona. So there was no need pushing for such a deal. Barcelona now went for players like Joshua Kimmich of Bayern, as Javi saw him as an ideal second choice with some great quality. But unfortunately for Javi, it also failed because Barca don't have the financial ground to, to get the deal done. And also coupled with the fact that Bayern and the player were not um, in any means 
prepared to separate. So Barca had to also back out from such a deal. They, of course, now go, went to players like Sofian Amrabat as Javi saw as the next best alternative. Amrabat, who did wonders at the World Cup tournament in Qatar, was closely linked, in fact, was linked with Barca since the January transfer window and Barca reignited that interest this summer. As the player was very hopeful and, of course, optimistic that he might be the chosen one, but uh, unfortunately, Barca started relenting their efforts to even start negotiating with the player's agent. And there was a point where Amrabat would wait and wait and wait until it was decided that Amrabat is moving on as he wants to also check on Atletico Madrid who are interested in him. So as it stands right now, Barca have never mentioned Amrabat again in their transfer plans as Javi sees no reason to sign him. And of course, now going to their fourth choice in Marcelo Brozovic. Of course, Brozovic was so close, was so close to signing as a new pivot. But unfortunately, Saudi Arabian giants Arnaz were also interested. And that spoiled Barca's own uh, purchase for the player as we couldn't go take our pockets deep to, to, to splash the kind of money that the Saudi giants did splash for Brozovic. So it was unfortunate. Now, Oreo Romeo remains the key candidate. And it looks like it will be... The final choice for Xavi as the moves looks more possible than the other ones. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. The right back spot is one of the positions that Barcelona desperately want to reinforce. And in that regard, a certain Ivan Fresneda of Real Valladolid has emerged as a target for the team. At the moment, Xavi wants to close other positions that he considers absolute priority. And when it is time to look into fullbacks, Fresneda will be considered alongside the likes of Jao Cancelo, who continues to be on Barcelona's radars. At the moment, 18-year-old Fresneda has interest from Juventus, Inter, and even Arsenal. Borussia Dortmund were expected to be in the race as well, but they have decided to end the pursuit considering his 20 million euro price tag. Above all, even the player has opted to stay in his home country. Now, as Mundo Deportivo reports, the right backs agents have already met with Barcelona's delegates days ago, and the player is now waiting for Barca to make their official offer. This means that Fresneda is preferring a move to Camp Nou above all, despite the fact that the clubs around him are willing to move fast by covering his release clause entirely. 18 year old Fresneda's contract with Valladolid runs until 2025, but ever since his size relegation, you know, he has been tipped to leave. What is even more fascinating is that since the relegation, his termination clause has gone from 40 to just 20 million. At Barca, there is still some kind of skepticism to meet the 20 million price tag for that, but they are willing to approach Valladolid with a fixed plus variable package to get closer to the valuation. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.